everybody and welcome to our safety setup video. We found it is so important to talk about safety with our kids and one of the easiest ways to do that is to ensure that we've got a safe setup for participants as they enter the facility. So you'll notice today we've got a putting setup but this can be applicable or applied to whatever facility you're at whether that's a school location in a gymnasium on a football field or at the golf course. We've got it set up, like I said, as putting, and what we wanna first take a look at is how large this station is. So this may be a larger station. If, if you're at the driving range, you may wanna pace it off and add at least one stride. Uh, but for the purpose of this activity, we've got it set up for putting where it's about two paces apart from one another. We also have it color coded. So the blue station, there is no confusion. That is solely for the blue team. So blue and blue. Yellow is going to differentiate between our two sets of stations. You'll see that yellow cone or the line of cones goes all the way back to the safety zone where Coach Darian is. So again, blue station versus the red, they're set up very similarly. When Emily's done hitting her golf shot, she will either, if you're at the golf course, take her putter and she'll put it directly into her bag in the club zone. And she'll go high five Coach Darian for Darian to come up. Darian will either grab her club out of her golf bag, or if Darian will show us where it may be, depending on the situation, kids that don't have bags and are borrowing clubs, we ask them to put their clubs in the safety zone of the blue circle. This way, if Darian's back there in the safety zone with her club, if she's swinging, it's very dangerous and we want to avoid risk in those areas. Mm. You'll see there's about two paces between the hitting station, which we have, and the club zone and then an additional two spaces behind that for the safety zone. This is so that kids don't walk across and we can catch them if they do decide to make that choice or so that when they're swinging, they are far enough away from their playing partner that no one is gonna be hit. We do ask that as kids walk with their golf clubs, they have their grips in the grass and they're mindful of those around them. Um, and if I'm missing anything, anybody have anything to add? Um, we typically talk about rotating with a partner via the high five. So high five your partner and that is their ticket out of the safety zone to hit their golf shot. When we're talking about putting, we try to set up the safety zone and the club areas off the green to limit the foot traffic that's on the, the temper noodle uh, grass that's obviously much shorter on the putting green. So we try to be mindful of the space that we're in as well. And that's just a brief overview of safety.